Our next inductee, very special athlete, Pat Mahaney, class of 1956, field hockey, basketball, and softball, pioneer of women's athletics at Natick High School, field hockey, varsity team sophomore, junior and senior years. Senior year, she was the starting goalie. Basketball, varsity team, sophomore, junior and senior years. In her junior year, she played on a team that went undefeated at six wins, no losses. In her senior year, they had a record of five wins, three losses. Softball, varsity team, her junior and senior years. Senior year, was the, she was the starting catcher. As a junior, she was elected corresponding secretary to the Girls Athletic League, which helped to rewrite the Constitution in order to make room for the freshman class and to change the eligibility rules concerning participation in interscholastic sports. 2013 Natick High School Athletic Hall of Fame inductee from the class of 1956, ladies and gentlemen, Pat Mahaney. Pat Mahaney from the class of 1956 was a pioneer of women's athletics at Natick High School, playing field hockey, basketball, and softball. In field hockey, she was a member of the varsity team her sophomore, junior, and senior years, and in her senior year, she played as the varsity goalie. In basketball, Pat Mahaney was a member of the varsity team her sophomore, junior, and senior years. In her junior year, she played on a team that went undefeated at six wins and no losses. In her senior season, they had a record of five and three. In softball, Pat Mahaney was a member of the varsity team her junior and its senior years, and she was the starting catcher as a senior. As a junior, Pat Mahaney was elected corresponding secretary to the Girls Athletic League, which helped to rewrite the Constitution in order to make room for the freshman class and to change the eligibility rules concerning participation in interscholastic sports. 2013 Natick High School Athletic Hall of Fame inductee from the class of 1956, Pat Mahaney. Well, I don't, can't make a bunch of speaks like they did because I'm single. I followed my dad's footsteps. He was a star athlete in high school. My brothers weren't. <laughs> They're out there. And then I followed my father into the service. He retired and I retired. So that's my history. I didn't play any more sports after high school except what we played in the Army. And I loved every bit of it. But the Speaker of the House is a teacher, not me. <laughs> I thank you very much for this honor. And Savio, you're unbelievable, digging up all this stuff. Thank you, man. Thank you all. Congratulations. You know, Pat, um, you said you didn't play any sports after you left high school, and that was a decision that you made at the time. But I'm sure I'm not the first person to tell you that maybe you didn't play sports after high school, but you certainly paved the way for thousands of young women after you left high school. And we thank you for that. And we thank you for that. <laughs>